YouTube is Caleb Craig, Devil Toys and 2, here to bring you in the Star Wars Black Series Sergeant Jean Arso, Jean Arso, I think I messed it up. Nice picture of her face right here in the corner, warning. What's up Hasbro? And on one side it just says Sergeant Jean Arso, and on the other side it says number 22. As a high school soldier and rabbi, Jean Arso has impended definite warrior, eager to bring the battle to empire. Jean has a little patience for a debate with the Alliance High Command, enough so she takes matters into her own hands. Disney. And this is a quick look at the box, so now let's open it up. All right, and here's a surgeon out of the box. As you can see here, she's holding a gun, but the index finger is nowhere near the actual trigger. But still, I do like how the figure actually came out as far as the clothes go. I do feel the face could use a little bit of work, but I love the detail in the clothes, like I said. She's included with this really small gun. You see gray and black. Not too much detail. It is very easy to put this gun into the side right here, and it does fit perfectly. You put the strap over, and there's a little hole for you to poke it into. Very cool. I think it's kind of weird to me is the skin tone. Like, you can't really see it, but I wish they would have kind of went a little different. It looks a little weird, and the paint doesn't look that bad. The hair you can't really see from here because of the scarf, but the scarf does look pretty cool. It can be taken off, so let's take it off and show you what she looks like without it. The scarf doesn't really have too much detail or paint in it. It's just a solid gray with a lot of wrinkles on it. They're looking more like the actual actress just because of the type of hair. As you can see, it just kind of looks like a generic Caucasian woman's face, but it kind of goes with it. So you have, see how the hair is just lines, no shading at all. Her little shirt is folded over there by the collar. I do like the brown. It looks very nice. I love how they had a zipper. She has something gray in her pocket. Could be some extra bullets. Looking cool. More wrinkles. I do like that little swamp green they put onto the jacket. That looks nice. Over here, she actually has lines here. It's a little unaligned with it, but it does look cool. I do like how the jacket came out. That does look very good. And to me, that looks just like it's straight out of the trailer. I like how that looks with the swamp green underneath the jacket. That looks very cool. Corner, you see, she actually has a little, I don't know, it's red, like a pocket or something that she uses on the inside here wrinkles pants are like a solid black color but what i love is that they actually put a little bit of design there in the pants so it's not just some wrinkles and paint but you see it's little camouflage looking signals in there i like that when they add that extra detail in there you actually got lines here on the front like right in front of the shins the beautiful detail on the actual socks or whatever those are to go to the feet you see that's two types of paint i don't know if it's supposed to be the same color but it looks pretty cool to me she actually has buckles on her shoes. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. I like that. I don't that much detail on the back, but I just love how that uh, vest looks that she has on. It looks really cool. It's cool that they included the scarf to come with it. So now let's look at the articulation. You know, looking at it a little bit more, it does look pretty cool. And you can tell it's from that movie. I hope it's really good. So anyway, looking at the feet, we see we can bend it that far up. So not that far up because of the design there. But you see it can go really far back. We do have the ankle pivot in there. Look at that rock. Very cool. You can twist here at the lower, well, at the top of the sock, whatever you want to call this. No twist at the shin. You can bend at the knee. Whoa, look at that. So the knee doesn't have that much articulation or is that just stiff there? Let's see the other one. Yeah, it goes about that far. So just in city position. So legs don't so legs don't have that much articulation. You can actually twist here at the thigh. It's very stiff. Legs can actually open that wide. So pretty wide. You can twist here at the waist. Not really an ab crunch, but you can twist there at the mid waist, like I said. Here you can see the arm can go really far out. You can go completely around. Can bend to a right angle. Cannot go any further. You can bend these little bitty hands. You see here she can look down that far. Whoa! So she can look down really far and look really far up. Can't wait to see what she does in the movie. And I do think this is a pretty cool figure. And as you can see here, I'm putting this ankle pivot to good use. But I kind of do like this figure and it's growing on me. And I do love, like I said again, what they did with the clothes. But this has been a review of The Sergeant by Caleb Craig Depple Toys 1-2. Can't wait to see the movie. Let's see if it's good, you guys. I'll see y'all in future videos. Bye.